Audra Schmierer has been a stay-at-home mom for six years. Now that her son's in school, she wants to return to work, so she applied to a temp agency. They called me three or four hours later and said, Mrs. Schmierer, I don't understand why you're applying. You already work here. At a big tech company, a similar experience. Here's my driver's license, my passport, my social security card. I gave them everything. And she said, well, really, how can you actually prove you're you? What if those people have the same documentation you do? Schmierer has discovered more than 200 illegal aliens throughout the United States are doing jobs Americans supposedly won't do by using her social security number. They work in fast food chains, cosmetic companies, even receive dividends from Microsoft. I started to gather all this information and really found out how extreme the situation was. It's scary. Her ordeal began last year with a bill from the IRS for nearly $16,000 in back taxes for a job in Texas. She lives in Dublin, California. My husband was actually quite upset. Uh, he asked me when I had ever been to Texas. She tracked down the illegal alien whose phony tax return triggered the IRS bill. He told her he bought her social security number and a fake green card at this Texas flea market. I don't understand how illegal aliens can come across here and commit a felony. Identity theft is a felony. And be excused from that felony to continue living their life when I cannot live my life. By January, Schmierer faced a million-dollar IRS bill. She was temporarily detained by customs, returning from a foreign business trip with her husband. And her Social Security account now shows a zero balance, erasing 14 years of work before her marriage. Social Security right now sends me to IRS. IRS sends me to Social Security. Every now and then, they'll send me to the FTC, whom I have a case with. No one wants to do anything about it. Right now, I have nowhere to go. Schmier spends several hours a day trying to clear her name. The IRS has canceled her bill, but Social Security won't give her a new number. She says all 35 employers she's contacted have refused to take action against the workers using her number. It's cheap labor, and they don't care. Neither do most senators. John Ensign brought Schmier's case to their attention, and they still approved Social Security benefits for illegal aliens using stolen identities. The crime of identity theft and Social Security fraud are not victimless crimes. The victims of these crimes are American citizens and legal immigrants. Casey Wyan, CNN, Dublin, California.